Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, May 1st, May Day, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. My cat has already gone out. She was raring to go this morning, but I do have with me this beautiful icon that's helping me pray. So much activity and life. It's a, an icon of awakeness. Good for the morning time. We continue in Paul's letter to the Colossians and he talks about getting dressed. I've recently stopped wearing my collar so much, partly because of the pandemic. If I'm just on Zoom meetings and people know I'm a priest, oh, why put it on? And it's so fun getting dressed when you don't always put on your collar. You have all these colors to choose from. You could put on a skirt or a pair of pants. Sounds silly, but it's kind of fun. It's a nice little choice to make in the morning. Well, spiritually, Paul says, we should also get dressed. Every morning, every day is a new opportunity to decide what we put on and who we are. He suggests we put on things like compassion, kindness, forgiveness, discipline, strength, make your skin thick, put on an armor, but also most importantly, Paul says, put on love. Choose love, not as a feeling, but as a way of being. Choose to put it on like a cloak in the morning. Think about it as something that you assume. I think we allow ourselves to be defined a lot by our prior actions, when in reality, every morning we are anew and we can be whoever we want to be. We can put on whatever we want to put on, thankfulness or self-pity compassion, or resentment, love, or apathy. And just because you're feeling some of the negative things doesn't mean you need to put them on or claim them. Just let them pass. Choose who you want to be today. It is your choice. You have free will. You can be whoever you want to be. And most of all, Paul says, if you're going to choose from that wardrobe of possibilities, put on love, put on Christ's love. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. We have woken up to new possibilities. Help us dress ourselves in your love. Help us become the people that you call us to be. Despite what we feel or think, help us choose who we will become today, how we will act, how we will behave in front of others, and help us be people of compassion and kindness forgiveness and forbearance. Thank you for the beautiful gift of free will. Let us choose rightly that which is beautiful to you. Lord, bless the sick today. Bless those who are dying. Bless the hungry, those who are struggling economically. Bless this nation and the world. Guide us to the end of this pandemic and the beginning of a new day. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your son, who put on love and became love. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.